Well, hi and welcome. Welcome to the Gypsy and the Witch. I'm Rita Marie and I'm the Gypsy. And this month's theme is no theme. You get to create whatever you want, whatever's in your heart and soul, just create and come and join us over at the Gypsy and the Witch. I will put the link below to the Gypsy and the Witch Facebook group. I will put the link to my sister Callie Black, the Witch, because she's going to have a video out too, and I'll put that link below, and also the link to, to our um, playlist, so you can check out all our previous videos too. But we'd love to have you come and join us. And leave me a comment, please give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. To tell you a little bit about the sketch. I was sketching this and as I was sketching this my daughter Jillian was coming to my mind and when she was a little girl, this this is a little bit of an older girl than what I'm thinking of but when I drew this um, it came out as maybe maybe a teenager, maybe an older teenager but when she was 12 years old she always wore braids and she was always in the swimming pool in the summer and my kids have a Native American Indian blood in them from my husband's side and her hair was not really that dark but she was actually a blonde when she was born but then it darkened but at this point you know being in the sun and everything it wasn't as dark as it is now as an adult that she is an adult now so um, but she did get her skin got darker she has high cheekbones and she was sitting on the steps one day in the house it was actually the stairs going up to the second floor and a gentleman had come uh, somebody my husband was working with and he actually thought that she was a Native American Indian girl that we had adopted and it uh, it was just so funny so I always called her my little Indian princess so when I was doing this I was thinking of my sweet Jillian you know and this will go to Jillian and here I started out with watercolors. I sprayed it a little bit. I'm using my Neo Color crayons and my Koi, and it goes through a process. This definitely evolves. I use a lot of different mediums on this. Uh, I was trying to get a specific skin tone that was in my head, so I had to work with it quite a bit. It it was. A little bit of a bear you know sometimes things just flow and sometimes things don't and thank goodness we have some other mediums to work with so we can you know kind of get what we want you can that's why I love mixed media if one thing doesn't work you just do something else so especially on top of watercolor it's pretty easy you can use acrylics on top you can use markers uh, color pencils uh, chalk pastels um, oil pastels, oil paints, you know, you just go crazy. So a lot of times I like to put down a base coat of the colors that I'm thinking of and then with watercolor and then go in with something else. But I had thought that I was going to just keep doing this in watercolor and it just wasn't coming out. So eh, what are you going to do, right? Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it just flows out. And sometimes you have to kind of keep messing with it and as long as it doesn't go in the garbage I'm happy so um, I just had to bear with it and just let it go
really going back and forth between the chalk pastel pencils and then the chalk sticks using the blender and I was just really trying to get that face color down and it was just you know well the skin tone was really just driving me mad so I just kept you know plug it away Okay, I think I'm done. I really had a fight with this one. I don't know why I just had such a hard time. And I'm sorry I did not uh, show you all of it because I had to pull it close. I had to do things uh, closer to me so I could see with this one. And I used some color pencils and it just, I was just fighting with it the whole time. But I think it came out pretty nice. It's not exactly the way I thought of it, but it's close enough and I'm happy with it. And it will go to my daughter Jillian. And, and I hope she loves it and will get it framed. And I'll have her pick out the frame. And uh, I love her. And it's amazing how, you know, kids, your children, your grandchildren, your friends, your places you go. There's so much inspiration out there. You just got to try and find it. And then when you see it, sometimes take a note and write it down. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this. And thank you so much for being here and joining me in this video. I hope you'll leave me some comments. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope I inspired you. And then go check out Callie, my sister Callie's video. I'll put the link below. I'll put the link to our playlist. I'll put the link to our group on Facebook, The Gypsy and the Witch. We love you guys. And I am so, so happy that you're here and you join us every month. It, it's great. And come and join us over at the group. We love you guys. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>